This video is an overview of how to build a small boat. Over a period of a month in our spare time, my son and myself built a 3 metre plywood boat in a one car garage. For little money and some basic tools, we ended up with a fast, stable craft that you could walk to the water. And in Queensland, Australia, you don't need a licence and the boat doesn't need to be registered. So the boat started life as a sketch with some dimensions on it. I used a free CAD program called Delft Ship to create the boat in 3D. The program generates a lines plan, which is a layout of all the pieces that make up the hull with dimensions on them. The material is for the boat, it's not very big. A few sheets of plywood and some pine framing from the local hardware store. The plywood scarf together to make up the full length of the boat. I then transferred with pencil the dimensions from the lines plans onto the plywood. Then we cut out all the pieces with a jigsaw. Once the pieces are cut, it's really cool to see how quickly the boat takes shape once you start bringing the pieces together. The shape of the hull on this is a little unusual. It was an experiment, which in the end didn't really work out. But that's okay. It was easy to cut and modify later on. The pieces that make up the shell of the hull are brought together around the frame and the transom, the flat plate at the back of the boat. The pieces are all screwed together temporarily with tangs of metal, blocks of wood, screws, you can even use cable ties. It doesn't really matter putting holes in the wood as you'll fill it afterwards with epoxy. The whole boat is glued together and finally coated with epoxy resin. It's all done with epoxy. The epoxy resin with a filler to thicken it is used to stitch glue the wood together in the beginning. It's almost like spot welding in metal. Once the glue dries, you can take out the screws. Once the boat's been spot glued together and all the screws have been taken out and everything's square, then all the edges can be filled with epoxy. The inside edges of the corners are filleted using something round. The outside edges are sanded over to give it a rounded, smooth edge. Fiberglass tape laminated over the external edges. Pine framing was added around the tops of the sides. Temporary framing to make the bonnet. The main forward bulkhead or frame was stitch glued in place. The bow of the boat was cut to give a punt like nose. This gave more volume for the same length of boat. bonnet ready to be bonded onto the hull. All of the wood in the boat was coated with two coats of epoxy resin. A lightweight bog of epoxy mixed with Q-cells used to fill the weave of the fiberglass and fare it into the hull. To get the boat to the water I needed wheels and some way of attaching them to the boat. To keep it light and maintenance free I knocked up a chassis out of what I had plenty of lying around the shed, plywood. So this was it, with an old 3.3 horse motor we were ready to head to the water.
goes. The boat was even big enough to invite mum out for fish and chips on the river. If you enjoyed this video, click on subscribe. There's a video following this one on how I got this boat to fly. Well, not quite that high.